Hello, today I want to talk about how a sail works. So in the past the, sail, the wind would blow the sail and it would act just like a piece of wood held in the air and the boat would get blown along. But as time has developed we've used the sail as a curve to be able to sail into the wind. And now not only can we sail into the wind, we can sail much faster than the wind's blowing. So in a modern America's Cup boat that we're seeing develop now and race next year, the boat will sail much faster than the wind's blowing. So we're going to look at this, the effect of both the Bernoulli effect, which is thought to be the main force, and also Newton's laws on how that affects with the sail. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, here we go. Let me show you an example of the Bernoulli principle. Here I have a block, and inside the block there's a cork. If I show you that, there's our cork into the block, and it's held in there. Okay, so that is flush on the top, and if I blow across the top, we'll get increased air across the top of the block just like the diagram, and as I blow, it will pop out. Are you ready? And as I blew across the top, the air increases across the top, produces low pressure, and the cork pops out. And that's due to the Bernoulli principle, and that's what's happening across your sail. So let's have a look at this diagram. There's our cork, blow across the top, produces low pressure. And there's our cork, and as we blow across the top, it produces low pressure, and the cork pops out and flies away. And this is due to the Bernoulli effect. I want to show you uh, another experiment we can use to show the Bernoulli effect. So if we take a piece of paper and we just tear it, so we have a, a small strip of paper, like that. If we just hold that up, it goes down. Yet if we blow across the top, it's still facing down. If we blow across the top, it goes up. Let's show you. So as we blow, the air increases over the top, makes a low pressure, and the piece of paper goes in the air. So I suggest you pause now and get a piece of paper, have a go at that. It's not magic, it's the Bernoulli effect. Okay, so to give it a go, all you do is need a piece of paper, tear along the bottom. There we go, piece of paper, hold it sideways, blow across the top. There we go, blow across the top, and that makes faster air across the top, which creates a low pressure. Go on, blow hard. And there's us blowing hard. And there's the lower pressure. And actually, in effect, sucks it up. And here we go. The paper rises as you blow it. Go on, give it a try now. So the Bernoulli effect on the sail works like this. The wind splits at the front of the sail, travels around the top of the sail, and around the bottom of the sail. The wind that travels around the top of the sail travels faster, and the wind on the inside, on the bottom of the sail here, will travel slightly slower. And the difference in speed, because the wind is speeding up on the outside edge, it creates a lower pressure. And this is the Bernoulli effect on your sail. Bernoulli's principle. Well, the Bernoulli's principle is that the increase in the speed of the wind creates a decrease in the pressure. And that's why when you blow across the top, the cork pops out. Well, is this the full story, hey? No, it certainly isn't. Bernoulli principle, it assumes that the particles meet each other at the back end of the sail. The problem with that, that that won't work with a flat surface, such as the first aeroplane with the White Brothers, 
And with that theory, the aeroplane will not be able to fly upside down, which we know aeroplanes do fly upside down. The other force that comes into play will be Newton's law of motion. So that says for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So it's about the angle of attack or the angle that the wind hits the sail. This is easily shown in a demonstration with a toy helicopter. So here's a helicopter. The wing is angled and as it spins round, it catches the wind and the force of the wind pushes the bottom and the equal and opposite reaction is to make the helicopter go up in the air as long as it's spinning around. Well, enough of all this theory. Let me show you because it is so much more fun. Let's go then. Here I've got a toy helicopter. If you look straight at it, you will see that the wings are flat. But there, if I spin it round, it will fly in the air. Why does it fly in the air? The reason it flies in the air is if we have a look at the angle of attack with the blade. As the blade goes round, can you see the angle of attack there? It actually pushes the air underneath which produces a force which goes up. So that's using Newton's theory that every action has an opposite and equal reaction. It's pushing the air up underneath. Here, as it pushes down, the opposite reaction is to make the helicopter fly up. Let me show you again, because I enjoy that. Oh, there she goes. So try putting your hand in the wind when you're moving along, say out the car window, but be careful doing this. As you move your hand, it goes up and down. This is due to Newton's law, and as you move at a bigger angle, it goes further up. Here's a yacht I made with Lego paper, polystyrene, and a sail. And we'll put it 90 degrees to the wind and blow the wind straight down the sail. And this is just doing balloon Bernoulli and nothing's happening. Move the wind a little bit to give a bit of Newton's force and away she sails. So it's the combination of Bernoulli and Newton that makes our boat sail. Thank you very much for watching the tutorial. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.